Today, I'm telling you how Instagram Reels grew my following by 20,000 people in two months. I'll break down the strategies I use and explain how you can do these yourself. Hey there, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Chris. I'm teaching you photography and how to start a creative business. I'm posting videos three times a week, so please subscribe to stay notified. Today, we're talking about Instagram Reels. If you're a creative and you're not making these, you're missing a huge opportunity. I'm teaching you how I went from 3,000 followers to over 20,000 in two months. Why should you trust me? Here are my stats when I was making Reels three times a week. This is from September and October of 2020. My account had a few thousand followers, but I reached over a million people. How did these convert to followers? Look at this. In that week, I gained over 4,000 new followers. That's insane organic growth. I'm not trying to brag here. I'm showing you the power of reels. You can do this too, and I'm going to break down my formula here. Okay, so what are Instagram reels? In short, Instagram copied TikTok. They saw TikTok was stealing their audience, so they stole TikTok's idea. Reels are 15 or 30 second video clips that are usually set to music that you can add through Instagram. Why are these so popular? Short form content is dominating right now. It seems like people's attention spans are getting worse. This type of content is quick and tells a story in just a few seconds. Why are reels good for organic growth? There's a few reasons I wanna dive into. One, this is a new feature, so Instagram is really promoting these. Just look at the redesigned IG homepage. Reels are right in the middle. Instagram wants you to click on these and watch them. They're not just in that tab, they're also in your feed now. As you're scrolling, looking at photos, Reels show up from the people you follow. Reason number two, and this one's a big one. When you're in the Reels tab, you'll notice one huge difference from your regular feed. There's no paid ads. In this tab, it's just organic content. What does that mean for you as a creator? The best content succeeds here. As of this video's published date, there's no way for you to pay for your Reels to be shown to people. That means you're not competing with people with deep pockets, so all you have to do is just make the best content you can. This ad-free space isn't gonna last. That's why I think we're in the golden era of Reels right now. Do not sleep on this opportunity. The third and final reason, TikTok was banned in India right around the time Reels was announced. People in India still wanted that content, so naturally they went where it was available. They went to Instagram. In a country with over a billion people, this shift to a different platform was huge. Reels was where they can look at the short form content they are used to and that really helped Reels explode in popularity. Instagram's timing on this release couldn't have been better. So you know what Reels are now. What makes a good Reel? I'm here to talk about Reels for creatives, mainly photographers and videographers. I'm not here to teach you how to dance in your Reels. Let's break it down. One, you make a promise to your audience, and two, you deliver on that promise. You say you're gonna teach them photography, and then you do it. You say you're gonna show them an awesome photo, and then you show them that photo. It sounds simple, but there's more to it. Let's look at one of my most popular Reels and break it down. This reel got over 5 million views. Let's try and see why that happened. I'm gonna play the reel here, but I can't use the music in it because of copyrights. So, do you think that was a good reel? Let's break it down. The first one to two seconds of a reel are the most important part. This is your hook. This either tells your audience what that reel is gonna be about, or it poses a question that keeps your audience watching. My hook was, I left my camera outside for three hours. Alongside this, you saw footsteps in the dark. Immediately, the viewer asks, why is this dude leaving his camera outside for three hours unattended? They have this question in their head and they wanna keep watching. Next, it's a quick clip of my camera on a tripod and the text, this is what happened. This continues to set up the reel. You see a professional camera in the dark pointed up at the sky. The text indicates something's about to happen next. So again, we're trying to keep the attention of the viewer so they don't scroll away. Finally, I have the end result, which is a time lapse of the Milky Way over the course of three hours. I personally think this is awesome footage and it's well worth the watch. I timed this footage with the B of the music, which adds a lot of production value too. If I didn't up the reel and just played this footage, this reel wouldn't have gone this popular. I actually went on Instagram and looked for similar reels once mine started blowing up. I found a lot of time lapses and they were really cool, but they didn't have this hook and setup, and the views reflected that. You need this before you show your audience that awesome content. You build up hype, and then you deliver on it. You need a hook, you need a setup, and then you have to deliver on that hook. I believe this is the formula to a successful reel. This by no means guarantees you'll get a lot of views, but it puts you ahead of those people that don't follow this guideline. One more tip, use a viral song. By studying what songs are popular on reels, you'll be able to choose from a few. I think Instagram favors these when they're showing your reel to people, so why not give yourself that advantage? Once you have the song, 
add the reel to the music beat. This can be hard, but it helps add to your production quality and makes that reel stand out that much more. I know 15 seconds isn't that much time for a reel, but there's a lot of effort that goes into maximizing those 15 seconds and making this as entertaining as possible. I just analyzed this 15 second reel for this long and you can see how much thought went into it. I do this with almost all of my reels and 90% of them don't get that many views, but following this method maximizes my chances of them going viral. I hope you learned something about reels today. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you and I think it's awesome that you're trying to learn more about photography and creative business. I wanna say hi to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. I'll see you all in the next one.